Hello Vinyl Community, it's Beric from Mike. Just a short video to say thanks and I'm just in from work and I'm glad it's going to be a short video. Um, I posted a Fiends video, I don't think it's been up 24 hours yet. When I came in from work, my wife says, oh what have you been buying this time? I haven't bought anything. Anyway, I opened up a packet, didn't, didn't know what it was, to find some VCLT from Mike, the PC31, the vinyl policeman. To see I'm gobsmacked is... <laughs> it doesn't come close. I mean, he literally must have just seen my video and posted this to me, and I'm so grateful. It's not a great monetary value, but it's, it's right here. It's fantastic. I showed a load of jam singles that I've been getting. And as far as I'm aware, the jam produced 18 UK singles. And I was missing three. So what do you think was in the packet? <laughs> the modern world probably the best jam cover out of all the singles I think B-side Sweet Soul Music Back My Arms Again recorded live at the 100 Club in 1977 when I first saw the jam it wasn't much later than this and I got hooked and I went out like most young jam fans did and bought the suit and the black and white shoes. I never wore a parka but I was hooked and I was a jam boy as far as I was concerned. They were punks. I did my hair like Paul Weller, spiky at the top, stupid on the sides. <laughs> And oh, that was it. I was a jam fan, and I've remained a jam fan. I don't like everything he's ever done, and I understand why he split the jam up in the height of the powers, so they didn't turn into the Rolling Stones. And I applaud him for it. Hello, what came after? It's grown on us now as I'm getting older, but the style council at the time I was like, what? But thank you, Mike, for this. It's really appreciated. But he's not finished there. I was missing this as well. A funeral prior. But guess what he sent? <laughs> uh, I bought this in a thunderstorm in Edinburgh. I had the B side of disguises. And we were up in the castle. <laughs> there was an American woman about five foot away from us. Got zapped by lightning. <laughs> Luckily, she got up and she was all right, I think. But I thought, God. But yeah, and now this is what I bought in HMV at the time in Princess Street. It's not there anymore. So thank you, Mike. Funeral pyre. So I was only missing one more. Well, I'm not. Because he also sent this. <laughs> Just who was the five o'clock hero? And war and the Great Depression. Well, I didn't expect these, Mike. Didn't expect any of the VCLT I've ever had. And I'm really blown away. I hope there were spares. But if if they're not, it's even better that you send them. I appreciate it. I'm going to make this short video so I don't bore you all. Thank you very much, Mike. I love the VC. Best thing I've done for years, join the VC. 
great bunch of people. You get the odd clown in the comments, but generally speaking, the actual members of the VC, even the ones that don't show their records, are excellent. Encouragement, hints. I'd have to be a millionaire to buy all the records I've been shown by Ben and Mike. Nick but anyway thank you very much I'm waffling now cheers take care everybody